So the topic is model-based pose estimation. So the problem that we're trying to solve is that we have an image of an object. This object has some feature points, as you can see here. We also have a model of the object, and specifically the geometry of those uh, feature points represented in the model's coordinate system. I'll call that M. And we know the correspondence of <coughs> features in the image to corresponding features in the model. So the goal is to find the pose of the object with respect to the camera. So the transformation from model to camera. And we'll assume that the object is rigid, so there's only six degrees of freedom, and the camera intrinsic parameters are known. So We'll solve this by doing a least squares fit. We'll minimize the squared error of the predicted locations of the image features to the measured locations. So given a hypothesis for the pose of the object, we project those feature points to the image and then look at the error between those projected points and the image points. So if we find the correct pose, we should have a very low error. <coughs> So how many points do we need? Well, there are six points in, I mean, six parameters in the pose. So each point uh, contributes two equations um, that represent the x and y coordinate, image coordinates of the point. So we need a, a, at a minimum of three points. So <clears throat> we'll set this up as a least squares uh, problem. We'll have a, uh, vector equation y equals f of x, where x is our unknown pose parameters. Here we're using the x, y, z angles uh, and the t, t, x, t, y, t, z translation. So f is a function that returns the predicted image points given a hypothesized pose x. And we'll put those image points into a uh, column vector um, each pair of points goes x1, y1, x2, y2, etc. And of course, we start off with a uh, vector of the actual observed image points. So we're going to find x that minimizes the squared error between the predicted points and the actual measured points. So the algorithm is the usual least squares algorithm, iterative least squares. We start with a guess for x. We compute the predicted points at that um, pose x. We compute the residual error. We compute the Jacobian of the function f and evaluate it at the current uh, pose x. And now solve the system of linear equations dy equals j dx using the pseudo inverse. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> correct the uh, guess for the pose by adding that correction to it and iterate until there's no more change in x. So just to review a perspective projection, um, we can project a 3D point in world coordinates to a point in the image by multiplying by an extrinsic parameter matrix times the intrinsic parameter matrix. And this is a homogeneous image point, so we have to divide by the third element of the result. The extrinsic parameter, parameter matrix is the pose of the uh, camera. Actually, it's the world to camera pose, uh, the rotation part here, and the translation part here. And the intrinsic parameter matrix is this 3 by 3 matrix of the focal lengths in the diagonal and the image center CX and CY. We're actually going to be using the model coordinate system, not a world coordinate system is just a, a change of name, but the equations are exactly the same except we replace uh, W by M. And also recall the rotation convention that we're using, the fixed XYZ fixed angles. It's um, we can perform this or represent this uh, orientation using a product of matrices. So the first one represents a rotation about the x-axis, then the y-axis, and then the z-axis. <coughs> and we multiply them in that order. In MATLAB, um, this is how you would implement um, the construction of a rotation matrix. 
So let's look at a function to project one point from model coordinates to image. Uh, given a hypothesized pose, um, these are the angles AX, AY, AZ, and the translation TX, TY, TZ. So this uh, function will look like uh, this thing, F project, will pass in the pose in X, the point we want to project, PM, and the intrinsic camera pr parameter matrix K, and we'll return uh, the point P. So this is the function here. Um, we first extract the pose parameters from X, construct the rotation matrix, construct the extrinsic camera parameter matrix, project the point, uh, divide by the third element of the point, and then return the first two parameters, the first two elements of the point, which just would just be the x and y. To extend that function to transform a set of points, um, let's say we want to pass in n points in a matrix like this, where each column is a x, y, z point. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. <coughs> um, we can do the same exact multiplication to transform the entire set of points all at once, but now uh, we want to divide uh, point by point um, the third element of each column into the first two elements. This command gets rid of the third row, so we now have a 2 by n matrix, and then the final reshape command uh, reshapes that 2 by n into a 2n by 1 vector. So let's apply this to this example object that has six feature points. I've measured the um, 3D coordinates of the points with respect to an or a uh, coordinate system attached to the object right here. So these are in inches, so this point, for example, is at 2 inches in x, 0 in y, and 2 in z. This point is 2 in x, 0 in y, and 6 in z, and so forth. And I've also have the intrinsic parameters of the camera, the focal length and image center. So this program here um, defines the points in the model coordinate system. Each column is uh, x, y, z. Here are the camera parameters. Here it creates the intrinsic camera parameter matrix. Um, here's an, a, a guess of the pose. This calls our function f project that we just saw that that projects all these model points onto image points and this function draws those image points so let me go ahead and run that in MATLAB I'll just copy that <coughs> paste uh, call this junk Okay, so I run this program, and you can see that it um, it projects those points onto the image. Now it projects them in the wrong place because my initial guess of the pose was not very accurate. Okay, so let's see how we can refine the pose. To do that, we're going to need to compute the Jacobian at each iteration. <coughs> So remember the Jacobian is this matrix of partial derivatives, um, which implements the uh, numerical derivative. And we can implement the Jacobian in MATLAB using this. So we define each column of the Jacobian uh, at once. We take um, the function f, we add an epsilon to it along each unit vector. And that, that gives us a result that's perturbed. We subtract off the unperturbed result and divide by epsilon. <clears throat> so I'm going to put um, this loop here now, which performs the refinement of the pose. So what this does is it um, each iteration, it projects the points using the current pose, uh, draws the points computes the Jacobian using that code I just show you, I just showed you, 
This is the residual error. This solves for the correction in the x parameters, the pose. And if the if the correction is small enough, it just breaks out. Otherwise, it adds the correction and repeats. So if I add the Jacobian code right here, this is the complete code for that uh, loop. So I'll go ahead and run this. So I'll add it to the end of this code. And now you see it um, iteratively refining the pose until the points match the image points here. And if we look at what MATLAB produced, this uh, took, looks like, um, seven iterations to converge. This is the final pose. The first three parameters are the angles. The second three are the translation. And the residual is five, and that is the... Um, that is the norm of this, uh, this residual vector. So it's basically the sum of the distances and the errors of all the five points that, or six points that were being projected. So finally, I wanted to show um, how to overlay a model onto the image using the, the pose that was found. Um, if you have a wireframe model, you can go ahead and, and overlay that. Um, here I'm just going to overlay the coordinate axes of the model, which are in this um, lower corner of the box. So I'm going to draw three vectors from the origin to the unit x, unit y, and unit z directions. So I'm just going to use that same function to project a point onto the image. Um, this is the origin, this is the uh, unit vector in the x direction, y, and z. So the uh, I just call line three times, um, drawing from the origin to the x and to the y and to the z. So, so that generated this this uh, vector right here. 